Hello, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer. On the previous video I was uh, talking about a design challenge that I'm about to start. So the challenge is uh, to do 10 projects in 20 weeks. So it starts now and it's going to end on the 28th of April. And what I'm doing today is planning the steps of the first project. So first of all, I have to decide what project I'm going to be working on. And then I will open Asana and just lay down all the steps that I want to be following. Usually what I do is trying to find briefs online or just go to a page that generates random briefs. And I just take one because at this point I don't really mind what I'm doing. Probably down the line on the fifth project or so, I'll be more inclined to do something that I really want to be doing. But right now it's more about getting into the practice of doing these projects. For this first one, I actually went to a random generator, as I said. So this is what came up. So it says that I have to design a poster for a cryptocurrency exchange. One of the first steps is going to be obviously to research what a cryptocurrency exchange is. I'm, I know what a cryptocurrency is, but I just want to make sure I'm getting it clearly. So as you can see on the screen now, these are the steps I'm going to follow. So first of all, I have some dates. The due date or the date I have to share it is a Sunday, so I'll probably try to have it before that. Then the case study is due by Saturday. Again, as I said, I, I would like to have it done by Friday, since weekends are probably a bit busier. Then under brief, you can see design a poster for a cryptocurrency exchange. Also have some questions that I like to keep in mind when I'm, when I'm working on a project. So what problem am I trying to solve? What is my specific target audience? How will I know the idea is good to solve their problem? How will I communicate with them? And how will I measure success? Those are questions that I just came up with, but I like to keep them in mind just so I make sure that I'm uh, answering the brief uh, the best I can. And then you can read the list of steps there. So brainstorming ideas to solve the problem, then doing some research into the actual topic, brainstorming again ideas, because I might get some ideas by reading some articles on the topic. Again, consider the questions above, lay down a list of things that I want to include in the poster, sketch the poster, consider the style, colors, mood of the poster. I'll probably do a mood board a bit earlier. And then research poster graphics by others, sketch final ideas, Digitize a maximum of three, iterate, finalize the chosen poster and reconsider questions above, put the final poster on a mock-up and create a case study to publish online. So it's a bit hard to really know how long each step is going to take, so I just have a time limit. But to be honest, I don't want to, to be too strict, at least for the first one. So I'll have this time limit, but if one of the steps, especially the design steps, goes a bit beyond that, I'm not going to be too harsh on myself. It's, this is especially for the research part that I don't want to be getting stuck in. So the total amount of hours there is 6 hours and 20 minutes. So that's 3 hours and 10 minutes per week, which is totally manageable. Uh, plus then doing the case study, which is probably going to take a bit longer. And then I have two sessions, one for ideas and one for examples, where I, I'll be putting stuff there after doing some research, something that inspires me. And as I say, I will create a mood board just to have an idea of how I want the, the colors and the, and the style of the poster to be. And that's basically all the planning I'm doing right now. My next step is actually to start doing some brainstorming of ideas for the poster, maybe even doing some sketches of, of some layouts that I, I might be working on. After that, I just, I'll just continue with the, with the process as you can see on the list. And that's it from me. Uh, I hope you liked the planning session. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope to see you back soon. And if anyone wants to join the challenge, just let me know and we can do it together. Bye.